Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Right, so we have now got a toxic waste bin. What does that do? I don't know what that does. That gives us 100 kudosh. We got an extra 100 research points. We got a bonus of $10,000. We are going to open the map. We, I've done enough in this hospital. Um, Two stars. Oh, I see. Right, so we can. I know that people have been asking me to stay a little bit longer in one place. Um... I need to upgrade 10 machines, cure 20 patients in a DNA lab, get hospital level to 10. I've already done that. Cure rate of 75%. Patients cured 0 to 0. So we've really got to work much harder to go to the two-star hospital. I kind of like this place. Um, I'm going to open map. Right. I kind of like meltdowns. That could be one that we could continue on with. Um, we've got... Over here, Smogly, a teaching hospital that focuses on surgery. So, do you want me to do some more work in some of these areas? Or do you want me to go elsewhere? Duckworth upon Bilge is... No, not that I can do. Um, I can't unlock that one yet. I got a teaching hospital right there. Do you want me to do some more work on some of these? Um, and build up to a two-star hospital on one of them? Or do you want me to keep sort of unlocking new stuff? Because at the moment, I'm unlocking stuff. And it's getting me... Uh, like We've got surgery-focused things there. So that's going to unlock new things for us. If I stay going to a two-star, it's not going to unlock anything new. I run a medical facility. facility this is a much maligned resort. Underlook Hotel. And i got one... Uh, I'll get a star in Underlook. Um... What was it? Was it a choice just between those? I can't remember now if it was a choice between just those two or if there were others as well. This is ones that we've done before. So, like, lower bullocks over there. Expand the organization by establishing a second hospital. That was just to... do. It doesn't tell me... Oh, I've got to go into it to see what we'd have to do to expand any of those out. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's the alien thing. That's another... Um, that's just one of the expansions. Don't have yet. Uh, right, well, it's basically is that one, which is surgery, which looks like a new thing. And then we've got this one up in the mountains, run the medical facility of this much maligned resort. I thought there was somewhere in... Uh, that there was one more somewhere. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe I got that wrong. No, there doesn't look... What's that down there? Oh, that's islands. That's another new place. Right, well, we can go to Smog. I think we will go Smogly at the moment, but it's, I got Korea over here. So, earn 10 million. I got uh, 978,000 remaining on there. Not far off. Restock 100 vending machines. There's another 100k points there. Uh, complete 10 research points. Excellent. And then train doctors, nurses, janitors, and so on. We've got a whole load of stuff to do on there. I will start this one, but I want you to put in the comments section if you'd like me to continue with a hospital. So either meltdowns, or I could continue with one of the earlier ones, but I think that one is going to present the biggest challenge. Or I will just continue on with Smogly. And we'll see what we get, because this looks like... Earthquake warning, staff should secure patients before securing themselves. Okay. Welcome to Smogly. Based just outside the city, the mayor is keen to help develop this area. Currently, this means it receives a generous supply of two things. Pollution and... a uh, pollution, not pollution. Pollution and patients requiring surgery. I'd recommend building up a teaching hospital and training some surgeons. Surgery requires a qualified doctor and a nurse, but it brings in the big bucks, so it's worth it. This is why I've been moving on to new hospitals all the time, because it keeps unlocking new things. So I've now got surgery unlocked. Uh, I'm going to pause like that. Here is our first room for our hospital. Let's zoom out a little bit. I've got a new plot there. New plot uh, requires plot four to get that one. There's plot four. Uh, plot six. Got one over there. Um, and there's another plot there. Right. There's quite. I've got quite the room for expansion on there. I don't like that I've got this stuck up through the middle. That's going to make it a lot more difficult to plan everything out. And also, right, I need to train 10 staff, cure 15 patients in surgery, cure 5 patients with turtle head. 
And we've still got the old Mono Beasts thing going on as well. And Mono Beast is starting to frustrate me a bit because I've yet to see a single Mono Beast anywhere. Um, it's a collaborative one, but I haven't seen any. We need to we need to do this quickly, don't we? So we will start off with reception. We will take three of those. I will go. Right, I can do two of them there, or I can go with four out across here. I can do two there. I'm actually going to do it that way. No. Four would be better. Cancel that. Yes, I want to stop editing that room. Reception. Reception will go there. And it will be a narrow but long room like that. So then that one will go back there behind. And then I will do one desk there. And... Right, you're not reachable. So you're going to go there. And that one I'm going to move up to there like that. So I've got two reception desks on here. I don't think I need any more than that. Um, that's the reception pod. A mini filing cabinet. Well, we can put a couple of these in here. Um, put one there and then one over there like that. We will put a bin in here. Should we can put a small bin? No. I won't put a bin inside there. Toxic waste bin. Resilient receptacle contains waste in more respectable, attractive and hygienic manner. Radiator. A radiator in here is probably not going to hurt. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about too much else, I don't think. Well, I suppose we could put in a couple extra of these, just so I can get prestige up a bit. That's what I'd like, is I want to get prestige to level 2. There, perfect. Right, there is a good start. Reception needs an assistant. We will actually hire two assistants to start this off. Right there. Uh, I'm not interested in marketing at the moment. So I'm going to take that one and see, you've got customer service level 2, which I could go with. And you've also got emotional intelligence, which would probably help. And I could train both of these up with an immediate level 2 in customer service and then a level 3 followed on afterwards. So maybe it would be alright. It has potential. Higher. You can go into there and higher. And then you over here, you've got increased motivation and everything. And you're hygienic as well. So why not? Why not? I think that would be an excellent idea. And then we want to go to rooms. So first up, let's put a... You know what, I'm going to go with the toilet first. We are going to plan out our toilets. Where are we going to put toilets? Actually, I mean, a 3x3 three three for toilets is the best option that I've found so far. However, I can also do a 2x3 for toilets in here. So we want there, and then we need to put a sink in right over there. And then we put a hand dryer over there. We put a bin near the sink there, uh, we put an extinguisher in this one, which can go there, uh, we put a radiator in here as well, like that, and that's got everything that that room is going to need, there, right, done, so I've got a little toilet in that room, we can expand that, we can make a bigger one when we expand the hospital out a bit further, GP's office, let's get, let's keep this moving, shall we? I know that this does get a little bit dull. We're having to do the same things over and over again. So we want to spin that one around over to there and drop that one down in like that. Then the filing cabinet is not going to help. We will put in what we need to put in here. And then we will put in some extras. Extinguisher can go in there as well. That one will go right into that corner like that. We can put some hand sanitizer in here. Okay, well, we'll put the hand sanitizer in. Radiator has got to go in. I need to have a radiator. I put that one over there. And then a bookcase, that just reduces boredom. Instead of making it look really awesome. Um, instead of doing anything else, it just reduces the boredom. A rug. Now that... That boosts the prestige quite a bit. That is a good thing to have. 
But the big thing that we want in here is those medicine cabinets. They can go in here. We're right there, medicine cabinet. Because that helps diagnosis and treatment. Um, but it's diagnosis, diagnosis power that we want. So we want to be able to boost that. So I want to put several of these in. I've got three over that side. And then I will do uh, three of them, maybe even four of them over here. If I put one there like that. I put one there, and you can be picked up, and you can be moved over to there. This is a really, really expensive doctor's office, but my goodness me, it's going to be worth it. Look at that. That is absolutely fan Um The weighing scales, we will try and put those in. Are they going to fit? Right, well, they're definitely not going to fit back there, are they? Uh, I can put weighing scales in there. That is purely decorative. There's no other reason than decorative for putting them in there. And I've either got to have the weighing scales or I've got to put a plant in here. For once, we're not putting a plant in this room. And we're not putting a bookcase in here either. But I've got a rug on the floor. And I figure that we could also do, like, a couple of posters. Um, one will be an eye test poster that can go there. So they can stand up here and then they can look down through and they can do that. Rorschach poster doesn't need to be in here. A food poster in a doctor's office? Yes, definitely. That's that's something that you would definitely want to see. And then we can have an 8-bitten just because I like the sound of that one. And I'm going to move over to this side. What else are we going to go with? Shock Horror is one that we're going to go with. I'm going to put that one in there. Turtle Head. We need to be curing Turtle Head in this particular scenario anyway. So I'm going to put Turtle Head over there. So that there's an instructional one on that. And don't think we need to do any more than that. Although, we could turn this into... I've never really done this before. I've never set out to have a level 4 prestige doctor's office straight from the beginning. But it, I think it would definitely help. So we've got a jasmine picture on the wall. And then we're going to put a gold record up over here as well. We're going to stuff that one right into the corner so you can't quite see it. And I'm going to do another one over on that side. So it's matching on each side. Okay, the gold records aren't really helping that much. There's definitely room for improvement on the gold records. I've run out of room. This this is a this is a little bit of an issue now, is that I'm running out of room for where to put everything. I've got one jasmine picture over there. Another gold record there. This this definitely feels like cheating now. Putting these gold records in, it definitely feels like cheating. Can I put Ooh, right, I can put that canvas in behind there. That doesn't feel like cheating. Put in the canvas up there. Uh, what else can we do? There is one more thing that I can do. I can take that poster and I can move it there. And then we can take the premature mummification poster. And we can drop that one into there. One more. I just need one more. Another Jasmine picture. We will put Jasmine up again. She is going to be the star of the show. Got to find somewhere to put her. Jasmine. You're going in that corner right there. we go. Prestige level 4 room. Perfect. What do you mean not ready yet? What? You... What? I've got the office. The desk. What do you mean not ready? Uh, I'm confused. Right, I've got rid of that. Why is this room not ready? It's done there. Oh, I have to have a filing cabinet. Look, there. That bit. Right, yes. I've got to have a filing cabinet. Without a filing cabinet, this room is not able to be built. So what we're going to have to do is that one, unfortunately, is going to have to go. And the filing cabinet will go there instead. There. Okay. Perfect. Done. 15,200 for that room. Little bit expensive, but I think it was worth it. Now, I need a doctor who can go in there. I've got a DNA doctor there. I've got a surgeon, and I've got diagnostics right there. And then I've got a doctor that doesn't have anything at all. I will take the doctor with nothing for the minute. You, a natural mentor, class clown, short temper. Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, higher, you're going in there. You've got no training qualifications whatsoever, but I still have complete faith in your ability. Um, then we're going to put a pharmacy right next door. 
That one's going to go into there. We will put a drug mixer in here. We will better get that one upgraded pretty quickly if we are smart. Um, treatment here. So we can put in a couple of medicine cabinets into this room. Uh, one there and one there. And then we'll put a bin in over here like that. You know what? Let's go with the toxic waste bin. That seems fitting for this room, actually. A toxic waste bin in here. And a uh, fire extinguisher. Hand sanitizer. And radiator needs to go in here as well. Yeah, we've got to have that. Um, put that one down there. And then plant can go in that corner over there. I've got the radiator in here overnight. I need a chair for the nurse to sit on while they're waiting for patients to come in. And then all I really want is a couple of posters or something like that just to boost this up to a level 3 prestige room in here. It doesn't need to be anything particularly special. There, and I'll do light-headed right in there. Perfect. Right, that one is done. I need a nurse who can come in here and work this room. Ward management level 2, Tiffany Muddle up there. She's also able to go and do a few other things. So I will take Tiffany Muddle. I will hire her. She is going to be useful. And then we will take one of these two. What are you, hangry? Well read. Uh, class clown, grumpy, once bold, A73. I will hire you, and I will also hire this nurse as well. Uh, despite the fact that neither of them can do anything. And then we're going to go back into rooms. We're going to go to a general diagnosis room. That is another 3x3. Three three. That one's going to go down to there. We'll drop you in. And that machine will go into that corner. The examination table will go over there like that. I will put in some medicine cabinets into this room to help out with diagnosis. And also prestige, but um, yeah, we, we, we won't actually mention that that is the real reason that we're using them. We're just going to spam these down along the wall like this. Love these medicine cabinets. They are hideously expensive. There is no denying that. Uh, then I need some basics. We want a toxic waste bin for this room because, you know, that, that does actually make sense for this room. And then we want an extinguisher in here. That one can go right there. A uh, hand sanitizer would be a good idea. And a radiator as well doesn't fit there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not going to be able to fit a radiator in here, am I? Yes, I can. I can put one right down into that corner over there. And that is level 3 prestige. So that one is done as well. We're making a little bit of progress. Okay. Next, I want a ward. A basic ward. I'll deal with a bigger ward a bit later. And just getting some of the basic stuff that we want. We're going to need a staff room as well. And psychiatry is something that we're going to want. So we will go with a ward. One, two, three, four over there. And that's what I will have. That uh, will be a four by six. You know what? I'm just going to bring that one right out like that. Nice big room over here. Um, should I go out by one more? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out by one more. This ward is going to be really big. I'll bring that out like that. There. Okay, that is perfect for a ward. We're only going to need one ward in this entire hospital then. Right, so then that door is going to go there. Then we're going to want the nurse station. That one's going to go around that way. And that's going to tuck right into that corner over there like that. That will be perfect. We will use the jasmine beds in this one. I'm going to need a screen. That one can go there like that. And then we will take the jasmine beds. And we will start putting these. I will start from there like that. Not reachable. Okay, we will start from there. That and actually go up against the wall. No, I... Isn't it better to have it out slightly from the wall? I can't remember now. Bring it out that way a little. No, I will leave it. I'll put it in tight to the wall like that. And then Jasmine bed. I bring that one along. So I leave a gap in between them like that. So then I leave another gap in between it. And I drop that one down to there. And then spin that one around. Put you there like that. So I could put it there. That That's actually... That will fit there, won't it? Right, let's do it 
every one and a half spaces. Because then I've got more room for more beds. And more beds, I think, would be better. So you can move over that way and go there. And then you can move over and go there. And then I'll get another bed that will go there. And then finally, i got room for one more bed over there. Now, I don't have room to put tables with every single one of them. I've got the screen. We've got wall monitors. Let's get some essentials in here first before I start putting too much else in. So I'm going to want a toxic waste bin. I'm going to want an extinguisher in this room somewhere. So we're going to put one. No, I'm not going to put that one there. I'm going to move that. That one needs to go over here. Uh, so that will go there against the wall there. I'm going to need radiators. And this is going to require two radiators in this room. It's not going to work without two radiators. I can't put radiators there. I can put one on... I can't even put one down there. I can put a radiator against the wall there between those. And I can put one over there. So there's two radiators in here. That's going to keep it nice and toasty. Uh, the hand sanitizer can go on the wall over there like that. And then... Uh, a locker... Like, a couple of lockers would be nice, but let's be honest, that's not going to fit, is it? Right, where where are we going to fit a couple of lockers in here? I can barely fit. Um, You know, actually, we could do this. We can put a couple of lockers in like this. There. Right, I put three lockers in, and then we can put in some bedside tables as well. I can put one of them in there. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to have a bedside table for every single bed. That's not something that you've got to have, is it? I'll put one over there, and I can't put one here. I can't put one there. You know I can just put one there like that. That's not going to be in the way of anything. Wall monitors. Now, these are important. Wall monitors are important. So we're going to put one above every bed. I'm going to ignore the fact that there's a window there. Just pretend that that's not there. Um, that's going to help. Because these add... What is it? These add 1% treatment and 1% diagnosis to uh, for each one that is in the room. So that's going to help. So, I mean, yes. Ideally, I'd like to put another one in between each of these. Like, if, if I could, I'd like to put a load of extra ones. That's not something I'm going to do, though. I think that would be a little bit ridiculous. But what I am going to do is I am going to put these down through the middle of the room, squeezing in as many as I possibly can just to add to um, a, like just, just a couple of extra additional features. Now, one more thing that I want in this room is another toxic waste bin. Am I able to fit that in down there? Yes, one more toxic waste bin down the other end. That is a beautiful ward. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm genuinely pleased with that ward. I think that I've done well there. I think that ward is a rather wonderful ward. I think that does look quite amazing. Look at it. That is awesome. And welcome back. Yes, I've been gone for all of what? Uh tiny fraction of a second um however what has happened between that fraction of a second and this fraction of a second is that i have got a new pc and everything has been moved on to the new pc and we should now be in full 4k and yeah um there has been it's been an interesting process getting everything transferred across so first up if there are any issues with um the video with the graphic problems with any of the audio anything like that whatsoever including my own audio what i'm um because uh like with setting up a new pc everything is different i'm saying this in every series that i'm doing at the moment if there are any issues then please get into comment section and let me know what the problem is and i will see what i can do to fix it at least that is the plan so we were in here we were busy building our new hospital. We've got a GP surgery. We've got a pharmacy. We've got an evaluation room. What is this one called again? It's been a while since. It's actually been like 10 days since I've done a general diagnosis. Excuse me. Um, and then we've got our ward in here. I've got 
No extra staff there yet. I've got a toilet with just two cubicles up over there. We've got a reception desk. I don't actually have a reception waiting area as such. Uh, I will put some vending machines over here for a start. We go to items and we will stick a drinks machine in this way. There, I will put a drinks machine in there, and then we will put a snack machine in here as well. I put that one in there. Uh, right, I don't want another one. I was just making sure I remembered how to work everything. And we'll put a bin down over here as well, like that. And it doesn't hurt to have, I think, a couple of extra fire extinguishers around. We could do with a radiator out here, so we'll put that one under the window. That's the, the um, traditional place to put a radiator is underneath the window, so we will stick with tradition and we'll put one under the window. And then we'll put one over here, like that, against the wall there. Out over this side, I don't think I actually need to worry about a radiator being in here. Look, if I stick one in the corner there, it does make that quite toasty. Then we want to put in some extra bits. So I'm going to take a bookcase and I'm going to put that because that does help to alleviate boredom. So we will allow people to alleviate boredom with a bookcase. We'll put that close to the bathroom for hygiene reasons. <laughs> and then we're going to put a couple of purple benches over here. So I'll stick one down there and one right next to it over there. Then we can come out over this side. And we will put purple benches next to these doors here. I'll put one there. And I'll also put one each side on there. Um, we want a snack machine and a drinks machine as well. So I'm going to put one of these each side of this new main door right here. So the snack machine there. And this one is going to be a drinks machine. That one is going to go there. We will take another big bin and we will drop one of those near these machines here like this. An extinguisher over the... Uh, extinguisher can't go on there. But what I can do is I can put a plant in here. So I'm going to put a plant over on this except that that one needs to come out further. So I don't really like that idea. Uh, can't put that in there. We can put a plant in there, I suppose, like that. I don't really have any plants out here yet, do I? So we'll put we'll put a few plants in here. I'll put one each side on that bit there. That that helps to green up the hospital a bit. And and people like the people like the green, don't they? Uh, they actually seem to like that. So that they appreciate this kind of thing. So we'll stick another one here, and then we'll put one there on that edge. And then we can come around this way. I've got a radiator there. I was going to put something extra in on there. If I put that one in, we'll then put another bookcase against the side there. We've got room for it in there. And then I want to put some other bits in here. Um, right, I want to put these in. I just want to make sure that we've kind of got them in the right places. So I reckon... I'll put one here. I can't put one there, so I do need to go back a little bit. So if I move that one back as well. You really can't go any closer than that. Right. That's weird. I thought you'd be able to go a bit closer than that. Oh, if it can't, it can't. That's as much as we can do. So I can put that one over to there and then spin that bad boy around like that here and I will put one behind each of these down through here like this then we will take a leaflet stand because this is another one that alleviates well I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later